Hello and welcome back to In Your Defense. I'm attorney Steve Tolan. You know, today we're going to finish our discussion of the very broad statute of alien smuggling, which is Title VIII, Section 1324 of the United States Code. And let's remember first that if you, knowing someone is an alien or doesn't have permission here, in any way help them, giving them a ride, helping them find a ride, giving them a place to stay for a little while, or helping them find a place to stay, you potentially are liable under this broad statute. So uh, four things to remember. First, as it relates to giving ride, giving rides or giving a ride to, to someone who doesn't have status here. If they're a family member, that doesn't count. That's not a defense. It does matter the number of passengers in your car is the second point I need you to remember. So less is more there. If you have more than a few there, it can really get you in some deep trouble there. Third thing to remember is, uh, just like normal rules of the road, a little bit different in this statute, you got to follow the safety rules of wearing a seatbelt, being in a seat, those kinds of things. Um, so the statute will actually enhance your, your potential exposure to jail time if they're not safely occupied in the car. And the fourth thing you need to remember when it comes to giving rides under this statute is that minors also are held against you. So if someone's a minor, it can actually be a lot worse, even if they're a family member, it doesn't matter, okay? Uh, second thing under the statute that's not talked about as often, which is really important and affects all of us every day is employment. So if you're a business owner, you could be liable under the statute of 1324 if you knowingly employ someone who doesn't have legal status in the United States. Now, luckily there are many defenses available and we at Peak and Tolan, we specialize in that area and have for a long time. So there's a good faith exception that's available and there's also a rebuttable presumption under clear and convincing evidence. So we, we, can, we can counsel you if you have those questions, but the employment area is another area, believe it or not, is under this alien smuggling statute. And then the third broad uh, piece of this statute is document fraud. And so most of us think of document fraud kind of like we thought of smuggling a certain way. Well, we think of document fraud as manipulating or creating false documents. Well, also it's just attempting to use a document that's not yours. So if you are trying to do a, a, a favor to a family member or a cousin or something and you let them use your ID and you have status, you can actually be liable under the alien smuggling statute under 1324. The, the portion that applies to document fraud. So you got to remember those things. You got to be really careful. And so those are just some of the many ways this broad statute can get families un, unknowingly in some trouble. If you are a business owner, you're an individual, you're, you have a f family member or friend who, who has any questions about this broad statute or, or fears you might be facing criminal charges, reach out to me, attorney Steve Tolan or us here at Peak and Tolan. We've been doing this a long, long time, this area of criminal law and immigration, and we're always glad to help.